And mine's considerably larger, but the bases are around the same size, so. They probably started out something like this first, and then was they were worn down with resharpening. Probably losing the barbs too in the process and just having a stem and small shoulders, what they call just shoulders. When the barbs get exhausted, all you have is little shoulders and it becomes more narrow the more you resharpen. Let's see. You can see short on the real one, the short flake here. Some stacking there. You see a pretty large initial flake to thin out the area where the barb and the notch are going to be. So I got one here too. I might, I might try to hit that from the side to get rid of that step, but as you can see, there's steps on the real one, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay. I'm trying to get these notches better, these barbs and the notches. These flakes are kind of short with the pressure flaker, so I might just punch them in. It's just random. I just I try to get the uh, the edge straighter than it is now because on the real one the edge looks pretty straight.
Is that even in focus? Some of these are longer, but it's they're not close together. Let's see. I'm gonna do another pass, see if I can get them closer together and better looking. On this stone, it's hard to tell when they release. The flakes kind of stick, so it's not too. It's not clear always that that flake has detached because it'll stick. Some stones are worse than others when it comes to that. Some stones, the flakes will detach and fly off easily. Others, they'll kind of stay in place and stick. I'm spacing these apart, kind of. I'm going to go back with a pressure flaker and flake in between. I'm also trying to clean up the edge a little bit so I don't leave the step fractures. Yeah, they, they were careful on the barbs not to have any step fractures, and the barbs look pretty thin. Mine are pretty thick, so I'm going to take these down some more. This one looks pretty thin here. This, looks, this one looks fine, actually. But this barb is thick, so I'm going to take it down, thin it down. Try to do a couple large, oops, I slipped.
Okay. All right, so one more look at the edge. A lot of small flakes. And pretty straight. Let's see. So I'm not going to be able to get the flaking just right because I think that they used the uh, probably an Ishi stick type pressure flaker. I'm just going to uh, do some flaking in between and. Uh, make this a little, little more delicate as far as uh, the lumpiness. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna remove some of that lumpy effect, hopefully, just by slightly, slightly trimming, removing, just in between with the spatula tool, flat, not with that. Not with a chisel, I mean, not with the uh, sideways, you know what I mean. Now this is just random. I'm not looking exactly where I'm flaking. It's just straightening the edge and removing flakes from between where I can see little uh, points that need to be snapped off to create more of a smooth edge. which is probably what they did too. They just wanted to make a nice clean edge for cutting. For whatever cutting was required that uh, there was no serrations on any of these blades. So uh, they didn't need serrations or they didn't like them for some reason. So mine's bigger. It's probably, I would say, a first stage before any resharpening. Uh, the real ones might have even been fatter, you know, maybe even considerably fatter, uh, wider, I mean, which makes them look fat. <laughs> anyway, there's some bold flaking. There's like this one here. See the bold flake here? A couple of bold flakes there. There's some bold strikes from the notch area into the face. There's one big, there's actually two of them here, one big one there and then a smaller one. Kind of uh, pressure retouch a little bit in the notches. So I did about the same thing, okay. Edge quality, I messed up right there, but it's not it's not too bad. There's a little mess up on this one here too. The tip probably broke off on that. If it, would, if it uh, broke off on this, it would look pretty much the same. Mine's still thicker in the middle.
but it's pretty close. The uh, sharpening flakes aren't exact. The ones on mine are, are larger. You can tell these are finer with the pressure flaker, probably with a fine tip on it. Mine is done with a punch and a cleanup with a little spatula tool afterwards. Now I suppose with continuous resharpening, if I were to take a, an Ishii, Ishii type tool, Ishii stick, and then went and dull this on purpose and did another pass on each side, it would look more like that with an antler pressure flicker or an Ishii stick, you know, popping off flakes carefully and making them long like these. Now these look like they go from, well, they look kind of random. Sometimes they go from base to tip or from tip to base, but I can't tell with this one. It looks like it went this way. You know, maybe this way. On that side and then down this side. It looks pretty random. Nice fine little chips. Mine are not that fine. And they're still kind of lumpy. All right. Picture for the thumbnail. <laughs> okay.